My name is Gary Bartz. I'm professor of saxophone at Oberlin College, Oberlin Conservatory of Music. I get questions from students every year, and during the year too, about how to um, audition. We send out um, one of our staff take a recording of about four or five different songs with a rhythm section. The prospective student, they can come to the college and do an audition, uh, a live audition. And one of the things I'm looking for is how is your ear? That to me is nothing's more important than the ear. Like I said before, nothing is more important than the melody. Nothing's more important than the ear. And they both go hand in hand because the better your ear, the better you'll be able to play the melody because the better you'll be able to hear the melody. So that's the first thing I'm looking for. Are you reading these easy songs from the real book? I mean, it, you can't take the time to learn this song. I hate to see musicians on stage reading music. Whenever I see that, I'm ready to leave because it, it means one thing to me and one thing only. It means you don't know this music. You don't know this song, so you have to read it. If, if you notice, you never saw Charlie Parker read, you never saw Miles read, you never saw Max's band, you never saw Hard Sub, you never see. It's like going to the movies and watching the actors reading from the script, going to a play and <laughs> they forget their lines and they have, oh yeah. To me, that's embarrassing. If you can't take the time to learn the music, then um, play something you can learn. I know working with Max Roach, we would rehearse in the morning sometimes and learn about four or five songs. That night, we had to know them. We couldn't bring music on stage. And we would try to sneak music on the stage, put it down, try to put it behind us and take little glances. And he would always see it. And he would say, no music on the bandstand, you know. So what that did though, for me, was make me learn how to learn real quick. That's one of the things I look for in the auditions. Are they reading something like Opera Vav? That's one of the songs that we use as an audition song at Oberlin. And I would say half of the students read that from the real book. Half of them don't. Now, I learned that song off of the record. I had never seen the music to that song until I started at Juilliard, and then I started getting books and real books and stuff. But all of that, all of those songs, I learned off of the record. So now I'm learning it from the people that created it rather than a real book, which has many mistakes in it. So that is one of the things I look for. Are you reading or have you taken the time to learn this? Another thing I, I listen to is how are you playing the blues? Because the blues is the essence of this music. Some of the songs have more chord changes. I wanna hear how you're uh, getting over the chord changes. Do you understand the harmony? Do you understand uh, composing melodies on um, a set of chord changes? Uh, because that's ultimately what you're, what you're doing. And I hear a lot of people, they'll play a song, and as soon as they finish the head, and they probably didn't play the head correctly, but as soon as they finish it, they start soloing, and, and their solo has nothing whatsoever to do with the melody. So I want to know, why did you pick this song? So these are some of the things that I look for, such as how you hold your horn, how you breathe in, your armature, I do look for those, but those are not as, as important as your ear.